Las Vegas, 2015. Hackers gather at DEF CON to play Capture the Flag, the game of choice for cybersecurity experts to train and test their skills. It was here that DARPA program manager Mike Walker announced the plans for the Cyber Grand Challenge final event. How enormously hard this game is that they're going to try and play and why it's so important. The CGC final event is historic. It will be an all-computer cyber defense tournament, no humans allowed, the first of its kind. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, is hosting the challenge to stimulate development of autonomy in cybersecurity. The computers, the cyber reasoning systems the teams will program will compete in a $3.75 million prize pool with a $2 million grand prize on August 4, 2016 at the Paris Hotel here in Las Vegas. The computers will compete in a game of Capture the Flag. Capture the Flag is a speed-driven bug hunting contest on binary code. And people who can succeed at the top level of Capture the Flag are the world's great bug hunters. Uh, and they can use that skill to, to look for bugs in the code that runs our civilization. DARPA posted the call for applicants on October 22, 2013 to develop autonomous cyber reasoning systems capable of comprehending and protecting software. Over 100 teams from all over the world responded. After three qualifying events, seven finalists were announced. Those seven finalist teams are Kojitsu, from Berkeley, California, CSDS from the University of Idaho, Deep Red, Arlington, Virginia, Dissect from Athens, Georgia, For All Secure, Pittsburgh, PA, from University of California, Santa Barbara, Shellfish, and TechX from Ithaca, New York, and the University of Virginia. DARPA is only awarding money to the top three, so first place gets $2 million, second place gets a $1 million, third place gets 750 k But four people don't walk away with any prize money, and that makes me feel a little bad because these teams are amazing. The teams are competing for more than the money. There's a sense of urgency in their work. The more we rely on computer-controlled things in our lives, the more we open ourselves up to computer intrusions and attacks. I've done nothing wrong to them, I haven't done anything wrong, and they slap me in the gut, and they smack me across the face, and they steal my money, and they steal my identity because they can. That bothers me. The whole world is moving towards computers. We know this. Everything is becoming automated. You know, pacemakers, refrigerators, everything is connected to the internet one way or another these days. It's called the Internet of Things. Trouble is trusting these devices when they are vulnerable and therefore hackable. Finding and fixing vulnerabilities currently lies entirely in human hands, and we are overwhelmed. The idea behind this is that in the cyber world, things move so fast that it's really impossible for humans to react. And so we've got to come up with automated de defenses. Right now, we know that machines have the speed and the scale, but they don't have the expertise. People have the expertise, but they are they are too slow and they do not scale. CGC is a way to feed into that vision of making sure it's fully autonomous and beyond finding the problems, actually fixing them. The CGC is a dream. Can we build supercomputers that can compete with the best humans in the world at Capture the Flag? If they can do that, if that computers can maybe not beat the best hackers in the world, can at least play with them, can hang with them, then we've built something amazing. So history will tell whether this was a um, an incremental change or a huge leap. We're all in this together. Right? We have to build defensible networks. We have to give tools to these institutions that, uh, that work. Um, and, and right now, uh, as we want to put uh, networked technologies into more and more things, we also have to find a way to make them safer. And it's, it's a challenge for civilization.